Well, good morning everybody. It's Bob from Greybeard Models and uh, we've made a bit of a start on the uh, Vindicator. First thing I had to do, <coughs> I got all the parts out of the, out of the bags and uh, we set about cleaning all the parts. You know, they've been they've been washed and uh, in a mild detergent and then left into in these uh, bits of kitchen roll or kitchen towel to uh, dry off and uh, absorb the uh, release agent there was there was quite a bit of release agent on it but uh, yeah so now we've got um, got all the parts wash and they can all go back in the in the box and then we can make a start all right be back with you shortly so the next step is to uh, get a whole number of these parts primed so basically all, all I've done is what we normally do is just take them off the sprue and get get a coat of primer on it um, most of these parts here are in fact all of them barring I think that part so I'll move that one over there um, these are all going to become aluminium coloured so you've got the various parts of the cockpit and the seats and stuff um, these parts here um, had to be prepped um, they had, a, had an extra little bit of work there was a, a sink mark a bit of dirt on that one there was a sink mark on on that particular bottle there so I had to fill had to fill that um, just used a bit of sprue though to be honest and then loaded that up same with this bottle here this had a had a sort of a, a sink mark in it as well which which was or an ejection pin mark um, and that, this one as well um, these didn't but there's a raised sink mark there um, <laughs> to be honest I'm in two minds whether or not I'll do anything about it but there is there is a, a little sink uh, and ejection pin mark there seems weird that all, all of these bottles had them uh, reference pictures that I've looked at don't, don't indicate that and then that one um, it has got some sink marks there but I'm just going to check the the position of it in the in the fuselage and it's probably going to be okay it's it's going to be aluminium it's within the structure of the fuselage you probably won't see it particularly this part of the of the cockpit i've primed this side black um because this is going to be aluminium color this part up here um this looks like it's the blue color for for inside the um, cockpit area and this life raft is is a sort of yellow with white straps on it so what I'm going to do is um, I'll get this this painted um, silver or aluminium and then I'll mask it off and then deal with the deal with the the top of that separately um, that's all, all that done um, and then well moving swiftly on um, <coughs> since I did the last shoot um, been a lot of progress the various parts of the cockpit have now been put together and painted um, so there's a lot been a bit of progress good bit of progress the engines all sorted out and uh, instrument panel internals of the fuselage wings ready and prepped got a whole few a whole <laughs> pile of stuff here ready for paint which is the next phase of the paint which is more the external stuff rather than that and uh, the next bit is to put the fuselage together put the cockpit stuff in there uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll mount half one side of the cockpit stuff into position and we'll give it a coat of um, 
coat of gloss paint, a uh, gloss, a coat of gloss varnish, uh, and then we we'll do some subtle weathering. A lot of it won't be seen because it's inside the, the cockpit, but that's the next phase. So I'll be back to you in a bit. Oh, anyway, so that's where we are with the Vindicator. Um, just a quick update. I've got uh, managed to get hold of a book. <coughs> this is uh, pretty good. Aircraft number 122, Squadron Signal Publications. Very neat book. Got some interesting colour schemes on it. Nice Royal Navy colour scheme there. Which uh, I know the Navy had it, the uh, Royal Navy had it for a while. Um, but then they decided that it wasn't powerful enough, I think, um, and decided to go with the, <laughs> with the swordfish, a biplane. Odd. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this catch-up, um, and uh, I'll see you again soon. Should have some more out by the end of the week. Might even have it finished by then, because uh, the progress has been really good. So, thanks for watching. See you all again soon. And, uh, oh, by the way, Thank you to all my new subscribers. I've got another another load of subscribers that have arrived. Hope you're enjoying it. Um, there's some other things coming soon. Um, but yeah, take care. See you soon. Bye for now.